Welcome back to Barn DIY. Today we're going to be making some healthy banana muffins, so stay tuned. Okay, so the ingredients you're going to need for this recipe are three, two or three medium, really ripe bananas. Three tablespoons of canola oil. You can also use coconut oil. One large egg. A half a cup of, we use zero percent yogurt, so no fat, no sugar, just plain yogurt. One and a half cups of whole wheat flour. You can substitute any flour for this. And I've also mixed in a quarter cup of ground roasted flaxseed. And here I have one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Half a cup of brown sugar. Chocolate chips that I never measure out because I just throw in until I'm happy. You can use different kinds of chocolate chips, you can use yogurt chips, whatever. You know, you change things based on your own taste. The other utensils you will need, I use, I like to use the mixer, it just makes it a lot easier, but you can just mix it by hand. Your muffin uh, tray, and I love these parchment paper muffin cups. Nothing sticks to these. These are perfect to use if you can find them. Might pay a couple cents more, but they're worth it. We're gonna put all of our wet ingredients in first, give it a little mix, and then we'll add our dry ingredients. So bananas are going in. Oil. Egg. Yogurt. That's it for our wet ingredients. So we are going to mix this part up. Okay, so I let that mix for about, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute, just to kind of incorporate everything together. I'm gonna drop that back down. Again, you can do this all by hand. You don't have to have the mixer. In go our, our flour and flaxseed. All of the other dry ingredients there. Sugar. Chocolate chips, always mix those by hand. This is gonna go on again until this all combines. So it's combined enough in here. I don't want to over mix it in here. Again, you get your batter gets really tough and chewy if you over mix it. Don't talk when you're baking. In go the chocolate chips. Now, you want to check it at this point too. This is a pretty good consistency, I guess, for muffins. You don't want it too dry and you don't want it as wet as like a pancake batter either. So this looks pretty good. I just fold those in until it's all in, mixed together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can always do a little taste test because if it tastes good in there, it's going to taste good after it's cooked too. Mm. Tastes good. We're going to use a different spoon to scoop it into the muffin cups. So I'm just using this spoon. You can use any kind of spoon you want. Just make sure that it fits into the hole of the muffin cups. Now they say you're only supposed to fill them up three quarters of the way. I always fill them to the top, sometimes even overfill them. It still works out and you get a bigger muffin top that way. But we'll see how far this batter goes. So whether you fill them three quarters of the way or overfill them, try to get them all to be the same size so they cook at the same rate. Mm -hmm. 
So these are gonna go into a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for anywhere from 18 to 20 minutes. Again, use the toothpick me method. When you pull it out, insert a toothpick. If the toothpick comes out clean, they're cooked. If it's still wet and gunky, then they need to go back in and put them in for like a minute or two at a time and then just keep checking them. So these are finished now. They've been in the oven for 20 minutes and they smell fantastic and they're gonna taste even better. Again, you can change up the flour if you don't like whole wheat. We've, we've used barley, we've used oat flour or kind of a combination of those. And we put chocolate chips in these. I enjoy dates in them as well. If you have any other interesting ingredients that you put into your muffins, you can put them in the comments below. All right, so it's always nice to have something like this on hand to grab and go whenever you're hungry. Great healthy snack. So if you like this recipe, and you want to see more recipes, please subscribe, watch a few more of our videos here, and don't forget there's a shopping list down below if you want to click on that. Thanks again for joining us on our journey to a healthier lifestyle.